In this video, I want to introduce you to the concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. In order to do that, I'm going to be going back to information that we've already learnt on invariant lines. So I'm going to be looking at this example here, this 2x2 two two matrix, 0, minus 2, minus 2, 0. We're going to work out the invariant lines of this matrix. And then I'm going to show you what the eigenvalue and eigenvector mean alongside that. OK? So the way that this worked was that we said, OK, well, we'd apply x, y to our matrix. And what we're going to get is another set of coordinates, x prime, y prime. OK? Now, when I do that, if I multiply this matrix by x, y, we're going to get minus 2y, OK? So 0 times x and minus 2 times y. And that's going to be equal to the x prime. And we're going to get minus 2 times x plus 0 times y, and that's going to be equal to y prime. OK? Now, remember that we're looking at a line of the form y equals mx plus c. OK? And because we've got invariant lines, we're also looking at y prime equals mx prime plus c, where the m and the c are the same in both cases. OK? So... That means we can replace the y in here with y equals mx plus c, or with just, sorry, with mx plus c. So x prime will be equal to minus 2 lots of mx plus c. And we've got the y prime equal to minus 2x. OK. Now, if y prime is equal to mx prime plus c, I can say that minus 2x must be equal to m times x prime plus c. So minus 2x is equal to. So multiplying this out, we get minus 2m squared x. And then we've got minus 2mc plus c. If I move everything on to the right-hand side and factor out the x, I'll have uh, 2 take away 2m squared x. And I've got the takeaway 2mc plus c there. So comparing the coefficients then, what's in front of the x here has to be whatever's in front of the x here, which is 0, of course. So we must have 2 take away 2m squared being equal to 0. So m squared must be 1. And so we'd be looking at m is plus or minus 1. Now, this also needs to be equal to 0. So we've got the minus 2mc plus c equals 0. Now, if I factorise that for the c, I'll have c lots of, uh, if I write it around this way, 1 take away 2m equals 0. Now, that implies that either the m must be equal to 1 half or the c must be equal to 0. Now, seeing as the um, m equals 1 half is not syncing up with the plus or minus 1 that I have there, that means that c has got to be 0. So my invariant lines must be y equals m, which is, let's say, 1 to start off with. So 1x plus c, which is 0. Or y equals m, so minus 1x plus c, which is 0. Also, I should probably put and. Let's put that up. So y equals x and y equals minus x are the invariant lines of this matrix. OK? This matrix transformation. Now, let's also look to see what happens to a point that begins on one of these lines. OK, so let's choose a point. Um, so a point on the y equals x line, uh, 1, 1, say. OK, so let's look at 1, 1 on y equals x. Let's see what happens to it. So 0, minus 2, minus 2, 0. And we're going to apply 1, 1. And what do we get? So we get 0 times 1, take minus 2 times 1, so minus 2. And we're going to get minus 2 as well. OK, so what happens is that the coordinate gets multiplied by minus 2. OK, so 1, 1 will go to minus 2, minus 2. So we're multiplying by minus 2. 
And if we look at a point on y equals minus x, so let's put minus 1, 1. So minus 1, 1 on y equals minus x. Let's see what happens to that one. Minus 1, 1. So we're going to get uh, minus 2 and 2. Okay. So what's happening with this one? Well, minus 1, 1 is going to minus 2, 2. So what's happening is the coordinates getting multiplied by 2. Okay? So the idea is that if you've got a point that is on the y equals x line, okay, say there, then what's happening is that it's staying on that line, but it's being multiplied by minus 2, so it's going down here. Okay? Whereas uh, a point that is on y equals minus x, say this one, is actually be just being multiplied by 2 and going up here. Okay? Didn't really... Duh, duh, didn't. Probably went too, a little bit too far there. Okay? So that is what's happening. Now, um, the whole idea of what eigenvalues and eigenvectors are is the eigenvalue is precisely these values here, what you're multiplying by. Okay? So the eigenvalue tells you the multiplier along your invariant line. The eigenvector is the vector that represents the direction of the invariant line. So for this one, for um, the y equals x line, okay, the eigenvector would be 1, 1. And the eigenvector for this one okay, would be 1 minus 1. So they would be your eigenvectors, and these would be your corresponding eigenvalues. Now, this isn't the method that you go through um, where if you are asked to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors. There is another way in, ha in how to do this, okay? Because we're going to be doing it um, not just for 2x2 two two examples, but also 3x3 three three examples. And if you've got to do this for 3x3, three three, then it gets incredibly messy, right? So we've got to find another way of doing that. So in the next video, I'm going to show you the method that we're going to employ in order to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for uh, three by three matrices.